Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. I'm G. I'm Sophie. Today we've got another food wars, but it's actually drinks. It's uh, US versus UK Monster Energy. Woo. Your favourite drink? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you forgot that one. <laughs> yeah, that one better call. It's my um, that one and the pink one that he's put down are my two favourite flavours. Are they? I don't like Monster. So I find that surprising because you like Red Bull. I love Red Bull, but for some reason I don't like Monster. I don't know whether it's because mm. they're so much bigger. And halfway through, I feel a bit sick. Or do you not like the first sip? Not really. It's Can't too be that sweet. Then. You can try it. But I only I only drink sugar free Red Bull. Ooh. And they do about two or three, maybe four flavors now. Mm. But they're a lot smaller cans, whereas these are just huge. See, I'd never get sugar free. Like if I want a Monster or like a Red Bull, it's got to like give me. It's got to hit you with the sugar. Yeah. Like, it's kind of what you're drinking it for, almost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me a tummy ache. Are you ready to see the differences? I am. Let's and from go. this thing, I can see there's a lot. There's no, a lot there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot in England. <laughs> oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, okay. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between oh, wow. Monster Energy in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. Officially speaking, Classic Monster Energy only comes in one portion size in the UK, a 500 milliliter can. I looked around for other sizes online and I thought I'd found some 440 milliliter cans. But unfortunately, the seller just sent me a bunch more regular cans. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Food Wars are we annoyed when they send you more than you paid for. Classic US Monster <laughs> Energy comes in two sizes. The standard 16 ounce cans or the Mega Monster Energy can, which is 24 ounces. Good Jeez. Lord. That's 710 milliliters, a 42% increase of the largest UK can. Mm. This is too big. Yeah, just so you know, that small one there is that. <laughs> it was, that's 500 and that's this small. is Yeah, this is 500. Yeah, that was, that was 73, that was 473 mm -hmm. mils. So it's, it's just pretty slightly much, yeah, smaller. Yeah, it's similar, isn't it? But that yeah. looks a bit like you said, like that's That big. That looks like the size of the one on the right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this looks like the canister of ooze that fell in the sewer and made the Ninja Turtles. When you buy other Monster products in the UK, however, some of them do come in different sizes to the classic can. For example, an espresso monster can in the UK is just 250 yeah. milliliters. Oh, like that. Certain monster that ultra flavors come in a 553 milliliter mega can. And if you get a bottle of Monster Hydro Sport, it comes in a 650 milliliter Never bottle. Seen those, the not. type of monster energy you drink also affects the can size in the US. Java monster cans come in 15 fluid ounces, and the rehab monsters come in cans of 15.5 fluid ounces. 16's too much. 15.5? Print it. <laughs> what about the largest multi-pack item by volume? Well, in the UK, it's a 12-pack of Monster Hydro Sport. I've never seen that. Which totals 9.6. Have you ever seen that? No. No? I've only ever seen the cans. cans. I've never like, seen a I've bottle never of seen Monster. That in my life. Lots no. of different flavor cans. Mm -hmm. Seven, five liters of Monster. It's quite a lot. Yeah. That pales in comparison to the US's largest multi-pack. That's 24 pack of 16 ounce cans. It's a total of 11.365 <laughs> liters of Monster, and that's 16.5 percent increase of the UK multi-pack. I didn't get it, but it is at Target. So here's a video of me holding it up, <laughs> taking a picture. Just me realizing that. Oops, it's on video. Here are all the Monster Energy products you'll find in the UK, including those that you won't find in the US. Here are all the Monster Energy products in the US, including a bunch you won't find in the UK. Not only are we going to talk through all of these, but we're also going to taste them and provide some thoughts. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <sighs> I mean, I barely survived the Mountain Dew episode, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have thought by now in Food Wars, I would have learned my lesson, you would think wrong. Let's start with just the classic Monster Energy drinks. In the UK, we have two flavors that you won't find in the US. We could only get one of them today, and it's this one, the Lewis Hamilton 44 Monster Energy. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton is a Formula One driver. He's one of the best. So I went to the shop this morning to get my drink, <clears throat> and I got. I ended up getting a Mango Loco one. But all the other, the flavor. Sometimes they just make me laugh. What well, the, the names? The names. Been, yeah, I like saw Lewis the Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton one, but it wasn't. It wasn't forty four. It was like another number. Really? Yeah. I saw like uh, some army one. It was. I don't remember what it said, but it was like army camo. It was like all army camo and stuff. One said Call of Duty. I think that's my. Oh yeah, like the, the, the camo. Yeah, one yeah, there. that. Yeah, it said, like, ah. But I've, mate, some of the, like, it's it's funny. I never look funny. at them, me, because I just get, like, the same one every time, so I don't really look at the different flavours. No. You need to try the, all the others now. Mm. I was really, I was really uh, deciding between this blue one here, which is the one I got, yeah. and this pink one here. What's, What's that? that, like, pink lemonade? No, it's like a punch type thing. Like a, oh. Is it peach? I'm not sure. 
I just, Ooh, I, just I think I know it says I, something. It says like pipeline punch or something like. I don't Ooh, know what it is. Fruit punch normally t- has like quite an almondy taste to it, doesn't it? Ooh. This one's of all time. He's got I think seven world championships. And when he races, he wears his lucky number, which is 44. So they partnered with Lewis to create this drink. Let's give it a try. It just smells like Red Bull, I'll be honest. It's probably a good time now to say that I don't actually drink energy drinks. I barely even drink coffee. I'm very loyal to tea. So Mm. this is going to be fun. Cheers. It's just quite a standard energy drink flavor. But yeah, it goes down pretty smooth. I wonder if this would make me faster if I drank it. The other exclusive UK Monster Energy flavour is VR46, which unfortunately I wasn't able to track down today. The VR46 can is designed in collaboration with Valentino Rossi, who's a very famous MotoGP driver. I'm sad I couldn't get the can today because it gave me enormous Mario Sunshine vibes. <gasps> That's what I, I get, really. That's, yeah. really. I was going to say they don't have that here. Yeah. We have a few exclusive Monster, Monster, Monster Energy drinks in the US at the Monster Energy Low Carb. Oh, I hate how that smells. <laughs> like I instantly have a headache. This has to be the first time in history someone has poured Monster Energy drink into a cup and not drank it strictly straight from the can, right? <laughs> Who's ever done this before? It tastes like electricity. Uh, next up, we have the Monster Reserve Watermelon and the Reserve Ooh. White Pineapple. Oh. It tastes like sparkling juice, I guess. There's like this flavor of like static. I got this one, this is the Monster Import Super Premium. What is the, f- it's 18.6 fluid ounces. But look at the top of this. <coughs> Do you understand how to open this? Oh, here we go. This to me is like- That's a weird one. Yeah. That's all in one city. Massive. While in Europe at the Spanish MotoGP, we saw a cool resealable can, and it'd be perfect for Monster. The can company it's said, both. only available in Europe. We that s- is a good idea. What? Resealable cans. Because once you've opened that, that's it. You, that's. You can't do anything apart from put a piece of tissue or something over the top mm. of it so flies don't get in there. But that slides to the side, then you can slide it back again. I, I can understand it when it's that big, but yeah. Mm. Like, how often do you open a can and then leave it and then go back to it like the next day? Maybe mm. not the next day, but later on the end of the day, if you've got like something that big. That's probably why they've done it on the can yeah. that big, because all the other cans you probably drink in one sitting. That's probably really. why they've yeah. made the, uh, the bottles with the lid as well, so that you mm. can close the lid. He said, BS, we gotta have it. Whoa, monster with the attitude. If you could open and close the can with one hand, you probably dated a lot when you were younger. I mean, <laughs> is that actually what it says? <laughs> How European. The next category is juiced monster. Well, in the UK it's juiced, whereas in the US it seems to just be juice. We do share most of our flavors with the US in this category, but we do have one or two which are different. We'll start over here with Ripper. When I first saw the can and the name, I thought it was like based on Australia because you like you little ripper is like a kind of Australian. You know how much this is gonna help me in the future because I don't know like what the actual flavors are. I was thinking So I that. hope they tell me what the actual yeah. flavors are and then I'll know in the future which one I could try. It's like, I think that because I always get the same one because I'm like I don't want to risk getting another one. Yeah, I'm not no, and I've done it. that before. And they're not. I've nice. got that camera yeah. one and it was grim. Well, <laughs> if you look on the back, does it not say what flavors they've got in there? Well, this is mango, so I kind of know this. Yeah, but I'm saying mm. it says white grape, mango, guava, apple, pineapple, passion fruit, apricot, peach, orange, lemon. Yeah, there's loads, so there'll probably be like so loads So all you have of... to do is look on the back and yeah, see but what flavours. Probably... Yeah, I know, but like if I'm reading out all them fruits, it might sound nice, but then I might try it and it's not. Yeah. Do you know I'm what I mean? Saying, yeah, okay. <laughs> Insane, but then I read the can and it turns out it's actually based on Hawaii and surf culture. Sometimes you gotta just throw a shrimp on the barbie and say, You little ripper. Little ripper. Ooh, this one smells nice. I've sipped like two of these and I have a headache already. So I bet that's a bit on. like lilt. Then we have one which seems to be a linguistic difference. In the UK, I hate you can find juiced monarch. The can is adorned with loads of butterflies. Monarch. And monarch yeah, is like that one. a type of butterfly. Whereas in the US, you guys have papillon, which is French for butterfly. So I'm not really sure what they've gone for there. Obviously, the UK has a monarch. So maybe we've just gone for the kind of royal theme on this one. Who knows? Mm. Oh, I actually like that one. Oh no, this is bad. I can't like these. <laughs> I'm not ready for an energy drink era. Our juice monster drinks come in two exclusives. The juice monster Pampion, butterfly themed like UK Monarch. I mean, I don't want to keep drinking this, but if I had to, I wouldn't be 
as upset. Aussie lemonade style. Oh, it's, it's like I'm surprised these don't have alcohol in them. It smells like an <laughs> alcoholic beverage. Oh. Actually, I do like this. It's not bad. Mm. It tastes like lemonade. Mm. Like I'm drinking, it doesn't feel like I'm also like getting energized to fight. Next up, we have some coffee and monster hybrid beverages. What? In the UK, on the website, it shows us espresso monster, and these include espresso and milk monster, vanilla espresso monster, and salted caramel espresso monster. Oh. However, if you click the buy now link, it takes you to a page which doesn't actually seem to contain any espresso monster, so I'm not sure if they've been discontinued or not. I was able to track down the espresso and milk monster on the internet. I don't want milk. To be fair, that just tastes like a coffee. I don't just get any kind of like monstery elements from that, which... Would you drink that? No. I've seen I've seen in the fridge the Starbucks coffees. Yeah, yeah, like the cold coffees. But I don't stuff. have I don't have That's milk. That's a bit different. Yeah, I know, but I don't mm. have cut co co milk in my coffee. No, you so don't. So I don't like anything that's coffee based with like milk. Quite creamy. Yeah. But then that I, it's I, like it's still energy drink, isn't it? That's I'm the guessing thing, it's the is extra it? caffeine, isn't it? So do you reckon they like How I is just that make a coffee and put like a? I think but it's going to be like an espresso. Mm. Like I don't think they can make an espresso that big though in a can that big. Well, espresso is really tiny. Like an ice, I like know, but it coffee. can't be in a can that big then. So is it a mixture between mix like an iced coffee and an energy drink and they've just combined the two? That's what I'm guessing. I'm surely not. That's what I mean, it's not, no offence, it sounds awful. It just tastes like a coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's like a double espresso with milk in a can. Without the energy drink. Yeah. Let's there's, hope there's so. There's no like, <laughs> energy drink and they've just made a coffee. No, you're getting the energy from the caffeine. But you do that in a normal coffee. All right. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> there must be something like extra, something to do with the energy sure, drink. Sure, that's what I'm it? thinking. Yeah. Unless well, they've like, sort of dipped the toes in the iced coffee. That'd be gross. I think it's a thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and increase throughout this episode. We have the coffee monster in the US too. However, over here, we call it the Java monster. And there's so many flavors. We've got the Java monster, mean bean, the mm -hmm. loca mocha, Kona blend, the Irish blend, the low-cal vanilla light, the salted caramel, the Swiss chocolate, the cold brew latte, the cold brew sweet black, the farmer's oats vegan coffee, Ugh. and the 300 triple shot mocha and 300 triple shot French vanilla. I, of course, got oh, the, the 300 triple shot mocha. Aha. 300 milligrams of natural caffeine. Oh, go to hell. Robust coffee plus cream. Oh, there's cream in this? Says so shake it up. Yeah, so shake it. It's just cold coffee in a can. Mm. Why did it have me shake Busy. it up? Oh, Why did on. it have me shake it up? Yeah, it's got bubbles and stuff. If you're at work and, and you see any one of your fellow employees walking in the morning drinking one of these, uh, you get, like it's time to find a new job because that can <laughs> flip out. Bad. Is there napkins somewhere? Next up, we've got Monster Hydro Sport. Now these are a range of non-carbonated energy drinks which are kind of targeted at athletes, similarly to a Powerade or a Gatorade oh, okay. style beverage. In the UK they come in three flavours, Charge, Striker and Hang Time. I've only got the Charge flavour today, you can find the other ones on the internet. Why not make really them flavours that you'd understand? It's got a really strong, slightly chemical smell to it. But the taste actually isn't that bad. In the UK we drink a lot of squash, which is kind of like a concentrated juice thing that then you dilute with water. It just tastes like a kind of strong squash. We're making a mess. All right. Monster Hydro Sport Energy Water for Advanced Hydration. Okay. They have a bunch of these. This is the Tropical Thunder. Okay. Oof. Oof. And it looks exactly like Gatorade. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Look at that. Purple Passion. Mmm. Grape. This one's like really bad. But like the I mean, second it touched my lips, I was like, I made a mistake. Other hydro it's flavors it's include flavor. Super Sport, Killer yeah, Kiwi. Probably passion fruit. Passion fruit? Okay. I was, that's what You're I'm thinking. You're getting a bit antsy with me today, young man. <laughs> Am I? I'm just, say, I'm just saying. It, pur purple passion sounds like it'll be passion fruit <laughs> other than grape. And what about the other one? Was it probably tropical? tropical fruit. Okay. Maybe like mango, pineapple? Killer kiwi. Do you think that might be kiwi fruit? Aiden? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Orange flavor. <laughs> Super Sport Macho Mango. Super Sport Red Dawn. Super Sport Blue Streak. Blue Ice 
watermelon, and hydro zero sugar, AKA hydro white. We have a couple of monster product ranges you won't find in the UK, starting with the Rehab Monsters. These claim to help you, quote, refresh, recover, and revive, end quote, after a heavy night. Yeah, right. <laughs> the two that I was able to get my hands on are strawberry lemonade and tea lemonade. The lemonades. Yeah, no. Ooh. Yep. Looks like exactly like the first piss, piss in, the in the morning. morning yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to say iced tea, but. Okay. <laughs> so we have Rehab Monster Watermelon. You also get a Rehab Monster Peach Tea, an Orange Aid, and a Raspberry Tea. I was actually able to track one of these down on the UK Amazon website. It seems to have been imported from somewhere in Europe. I think maybe Italy. Quite bad. I'm at that age now where I'm always hungover. What about you, Harry? <laughs> I'll be honest, if I'm hungover, I'm gonna go for a giant full English breakfast, loads of salt and vinegar crisps, and then about two liters of fizzy water instead of one of these. Fizzy water? And our final exclusive you know, range is muscle. What do you have when you're hungover? I just have seven pints of water and don't eat until the next day. Dear. So, no, no. I can't eat, it makes me feel even more ill. I don't eat, I just have the Dr. Monster. I have one of them every, like every time. And then I just take two paracetamol and an ibuprofen. And maybe like um, a, what do you call it when you, you went a lem sip? I just have a lem sip. I, I have flat coke. Oh yeah, you do, don't what you? That's weird. Flat, full, full fat coke. Like, no, like she, so it's gone stir off fizzy, it not so fizzy. that there's no fizz in it. Right as rain. Stir it? Yeah, you stir it so there's no bubbles, so all the fizz comes out of it. Oh, oh you just do like hair of the dog and just keep drinking. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've, I've, done, I've done that. I've actually I've like, I've been hungover before. and just had a yeah. pint and then I've, been, I've actually been sweet. Yeah. Well, it's the sugar you need to get back <laughs> in your body. So you a big yes. chocolate bar and flat, full fat coke mm. makes you better. Interesting. Mm. Monster. These are exclusive shakes with 27 grams of protein and 157 milligrams of caffeine. You can get them in Vanilla Muscle Monster Energy Drink Shake and Chocolate Muscle. But I'm never hungover anyway. Just so yeah, you know. of course no. Monster Energy Wait, Shake. Wait till you get to your mid just Probably a good thing. <laughs> goes down. Now, we can't get Muscle Monster in the UK, but I'm pretty sure I can just combine a standard monster with some protein powder, and it'll have the same effect, right? Of many bad ideas that I've had. Well, I'm gonna try it. Show, this might be the worst. I'm gonna go with two teaspoons of protein powder. Oh. What on earth am I doing with my life? It's just currently kind of formed a big layer. There we go. I hope you can see how badly this has gone. This is not mixed oh, at all. Oh, I couldn't drink that. No. <laughs> oh God. I think the texture is more off-putting than the yeah. taste. It's just it's like not mixed a properly, really is it? grainy yeah. monster energy. The things we do for games, am I right, guys? <laughs> monster energy products have some ingredients that you might want to watch out for. But there are also lessons to be learned about ingredients which sound scary, but are actually completely fine. Here's the ingredients list as it appears on a can of classic monster energy drink. I haven't, I haven't even opened this yet. Cheers, guys. It's classic monster energy. Oh, it's poison. Here's the ingredients list as it appears on a can of classic Monster Energy in the UK. Let's start with the good news. If you take a look at the US list, you might see some scary sounding chemicals like pyridoxine hydrochloride or niacinamide, which seemingly aren't present in the UK drink. Niacinamide is like a face product, isn't it, as well? Is it? Yeah, niacinamide, it's, it's to help with like, um, like breakouts, I think. Huh? Yeah, it's in fact loads of skincare. Mm. That's weird. I want to know it? what B2, B3, B6, B12 is. Well, every Friday I <laughs> take B12. What is it? It's um, something that my body was lacking in, apparently. Huh? So every there we go. Every Friday. Oh, you could, instead of taking that, you could just have an energy drink. Yeah, I could. <laughs> and then you're getting the B6 and the I B3 all, and the B2 in as well. I take, all, <laughs> I, I take loads of uh, B vitamins and D because we don't get any, uh, any blooming sun here. Yes, yeah. Vitamins B6 and B3, respectively. <clears throat> Same goes for riboflavin and cy cyanocobalamin in the US list, which is just vitamin B2 and B12. In fact, when you go through the list and edit a couple of other linguistic differences, you'll see that the drinks are actually identical in the two countries. That's not the only thing we can demystify about Monster either. Oh God, I'm like seething from all this energy drink. Ah, you may notice that Monster <laughs> contains taurine. For years, taurine has been the subject of some inaccurate rumors on social media. 
Inaccurate rumors on social media? Huh? <laughs> Tony has been associated with bulls, drawing its name from the Latin Taurus. Some people ran with this and falsely claim that taurine is code for bull semen. You have to be an absolute <laughs> idiot to think that taurine is bull semen. Period. The name taurine comes from the fact that it was actually first isolated from ox bile. Even more good news is that there's no ox spit in Monster Energy either, as most food producers will now use a synthetic version of taurine that isn't derived from animals. This also means that Monster is suitable for vegans. Okay. Enough defending Monster, what about the more questionable ingredients? Some of the flavors of Monster Energy Drink contain controversial food colorings. For instance, all these four bad boys have red 40 in them. This is the visual representation oh. of children bouncing off the walls. <laughs> all these got the red 40 in it. Let's do a power, controversial chemical taste test. thought you were to drink them under 16 anyway. I mean, you Bam. get ID, don't you, for yeah. him? I've been ID'd for them. It's... I don't, are you like not allowed to drink them, or are you not allowed to buy them? Un un under Both. It's, really? not suit it's not suitable for children. Even when I go to the self checkout and I buy a Red Bull, mm. it flags up like it does when you buy alcohol. Yeah, does yeah. it? Yeah, and so yeah, you have to yeah. come over and, and type a thing in to say. I used to get one every morning on the way to school, high school, and no one ever said anything. Really? Yeah, the I went in with uh, Gabby, uh, Declan's girlfriend, and um, she walked in with her car keys in one hand. A baby and in... Arlo the baby in the other <laughs> hand and had put a Red Bull down on the thing and she said, have you got ID? And she said, no, I've not got it with me and she, didn't, she wasn't allowed to buy it. Stop and it. She, and I think she was 21 at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you can drive, you've got to be above 16 and also, you're probably over 16 if you've got a baby as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow your baby to buy a Red Bull? It's <laughs> literally no, yeah. like, you can't even drive when you're 16. I know. Like, what? <laughs> mm -mm. Somehow worse. I don't know what flowers taste like. Definitely not that. <laughs> That's kind of nice, actually. This <laughs> other one that's sitting over here, if you're wondering why it's over here. So I'm talking like super fast. All of a sudden, this is really kicking in. So <laughs> this section, the US portion of this is completely disorganized. It's 100% my fault. This, I just, what I, what time is it? <laughs> These are food colorings derived from petroleum. They've received a lot of attention in the past due to concerns about their safety. In 2007, a study from UK academics linked red 40, yellow 5, and yellow 6 to hyperactivity in children, possibly adults, and yellow <laughs> 5 also being linked to causing mm. cancer. Give me a dancing rat sometime now. Thank you. While these dyes aren't illegal in the UK, most manufacturers will still avoid using them because if they are added to food, they must bear a warning label which says that they may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. However, as Monster Energy is kind of designed to make you hyperactive, it's one mm. of the UK products which still uses one of them. Our Pipeline Punch and Ultra Red Monster Energies contain Red 40 Pipeline listed punch, on the ingredients as E129, which means that they also have to have the hyperactivity warning. The good news for the UK is that we stopped short of using yellow 5 yeah. and yellow 6 in our monster, instead opting to use carotenes to colour our yellow drinks like Mango Loco. There was one other monster-based controversy that came out of the British Isles. The Republic of Ireland pulled four varieties of monster from its shelves, including Juiced Ripper no. and Lewis Hamilton 44, after they were found to contain excessive levels of propylene glycol. Propylene glycol, no idea that's how it's pronounced, is a chemical which has GRAS, generally recognized as safe, status from the FDA. It's mostly used in food as a humectant, which is something which absorbs water and provides additional nutritional value. It has been the subject of some hysteria in the past. It's one of the main ingredients of antifreeze as it can lower the freezing yeah. point of liquids. However, this level of it would never be found in food or drink. Even the Food Safety Authority of Ireland said that the products it recalled were unlikely to cause any harmful effects. What's that? Let's talk about caffeine for a second. <laughs> Regular Monster Energy in the UK contains 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milliliters, which equates to 160 milligrams in a 500 milliliter can. A regular can of Monster Energy in the US also contains 160 milligrams of caffeine of the slightly higher figure per milliliter than the UK as our cans are slightly smaller. That's roughly equivalent to two shots of espresso, which usually contain around 80 milligrams of caffeine per shot. If we're talking per milliliter, the UK's most caffeinated monster would be the espresso monster, which contains around 60 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milliliters, almost double the amount of the normal can. Hmm. However, the UK espresso cans are only 250 milliliters. That means that a whole can of that contains less caffeine than a whole can of the classic version. Mm. The most caffeinated US monster drink is the Monster Java 300 line, which as the name suggests, contains 300 milligrams of caffeine per 15 fluid ounces. Good hagad. At what point does caffeine intake become a problem? 
The FDA says that 400 milligrams per day is generally not associated with dangerous negative effects. But if you consume 1200 milligrams in a relatively short amount of time, that's when the toxic effects like seizures can start to be observed. According to the FDA, a life-threatening dose of caffeine is 10 grams of caffeine. It's surprisingly easy to get hold of pure caffeine online. Without any age verification, I was able to pay 23 pounds for 100 grams of this, which is theoretically enough to kill 10 people. We're gonna weigh out a 10 gram lethal dosage just to show you how little that actually is. So wow. that is roughly what's in there. That right there is more than enough caffeine to kill a normal human being. It was about four teaspoons worth. What's this like in terms of Whoa. monster energies? Well, in the UK, you need to drink 7.5 of them to hit the 1,200 milligram mark, but you need to drink 62.5 of them to hit the 10 gram mark. This means you'd be unlikely to die just from the caffeine on its own, but it's not unrealistic that you may experience some negative side effects if you consume a lot of it. It's a little too. more risky here in the US. Mm -hmm. Just four of these Java 300 cans can put you at risk as seizures, although it'd probably take 33.3 of them to kill you. Yeah, and you wouldn't die from caffeine, you'd die from like your bladder exploding from having <laughs> 33 of these. How many fluid ounces is that? What's well, 15 times 33? It's worth mentioning that in some stores across the UK, they will ask for proof of age in order to let you buy Monster Energy. I got ID'd in a co-op trying to buy some of the drinks for this video. There's no legal restriction on the sale of energy <laughs> drinks in the UK, and they can technically be sold to anyone. But some retailers will voluntarily cap them to people over the age of 16. This is a fantastic idea. I'm not mm. kidding. We should be doing that. The age restriction is no one over 25 drinks this crap. You stop drinking <laughs> and you get like, I don't know, re responsibilities. There's also a large amount of sugar in Monster Energy. In the UK, a 500 milliliter can contains 55 grams of sugar. That's 110% of your daily allowance. Wow. A 16 ounce can in the US contains 54 grams of sugar, which is 108% your daily allowance. So now remember grams. that the US cans contain 30 milliliters less than the amount. UK can. So <laughs> portionally speaking, they're basically the same. Mm. My, uh, my spit and pour glass that I was using. A special uh, Avella blend. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. That would probably be nice. Oh. Just without the coffee ones. Yeah. That's like when we did the, um, what's it tasting? Coca Cola. Kool Aid. And we poured all of them into yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Give them to Danielle to give to her kids. <laughs> was it, did you try it? <laughs> it was actually quite nice. I can oh. imagine it was, to be fair. Yeah. Like, realistically, it's just like a very tropical drink a few of them are the same like the blue lemonade and there was there was two blue and the ones. yeah like there was some but if you mix them all together lemonade. the color is like a, a it was like a dark purple mucky purple mm. color but it actually tasted quite nice good mm. as long as the kids enjoyed it yeah <laughs> are you going to start buying monster then nope definitely not no i'm we i've weaned myself of red bull i have one a week now to be fair i've not had a monster in quite a while it's quite uh it's quite funny how I bought one today, yeah. and then we watched the video. Yeah, yeah, because you didn't know we were doing it till you got in here. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.